Kramatorsk, Ukraine. The Ukrainian military is facing a critical shortage of infantry, leading to exhaustion and diminished morale on the front line, military personnel in the field said this week. A perilous new dynamic for Kyiv nearly two years into the grinding, bloody war with Russia. In interviews across the front line in recent days, nearly a dozen soldiers and commanders told the Washington Post that personnel deficits were their most critical problem now, as Russia has regained the offensive initiative on the battlefield and is stepping up its attacks. One battalion commander in a mechanized brigade fighting in eastern Ukraine said that his unit currently has fewer than 40 infantry troops, the soldiers deployed in frontline trenches who hold off Russian assaults. A fully equipped battalion would have more than 200, the commander said. Another commander in an infantry battalion of a different brigade said his unit is similarly depleted. The soldiers interviewed spoke on the condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to speak publicly and could face retribution for their comments. The reports of acute troop shortages come as President Volodymyr Zelensky is preparing to replace his military chief, General Valery Zaluzhny, with one chief disagreement being over how many new soldiers Ukraine needs to mobilize. The Ukrainian presidential office declined to comment, referring questions to the defense ministry, which in turn referred questions to the Ukrainian military's general staff. The general staff did not respond to a request for comment. Zaluzhny has told Zelensky that Ukraine needs nearly 500,000 new troops, according to two people familiar with the matter, but the president has pushed back on that figure privately and publicly. Zelensky has said he wants more justification from Ukraine's military leadership about why so many conscripts are needed and has also expressed concern about how Kyiv would pay them. Financial assistance from Western partners cannot be used to pay soldier salaries, and Ukraine's budget is already under strain, with a $60 billion aid package proposed by President Biden stalled in Congress. The European Union last week approved roughly $54 billion in aid after it was delayed for weeks by opposition from Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban. The debate in Kyiv about mobilization, and to what degree the country should ramp it up, has angered soldiers on the front line. Alexander, a battalion commander, said the companies in his unit on average are staffed at about 35% of what they should be. A second battalion commander from an assault brigade said that is typical for units that carry out combat tasks. Asked how many new soldiers he has received, not including those who have returned after injuries. Alexander said his battalion was sent five people over the past five months.